Hey everyone, Gary here with Rock Solid Productions, and if you've been keeping an eye on the channel recently, I've been doing quite a bit regarding retro gaming. You've seen some of the 8-bit NES clone consoles that we've done unboxings and reviews on, and today we have an unboxing of the Smart Boy from Hyperkin. And basically what this is, this is something that actually started out as kind of an April Fool's joke from Hyperkin where they posted a proof of concept and everything to their page. But there was a lot of interest in it from gamers and smartphone manufacturers. So Hyperkin actually went ahead and after about two years, this is a real thing. So what it's designed to do is to take your Android based phone and allow you to play actual Game Boy cartridges on your phone. Price tag is about 50 bucks on this, depending on where you shop. If you go on Amazon, uh, I've seen it for about $50. Hyperkin's website is about the same. I actually picked this up in person at Fry's yesterday uh, in Chicago, so they are out there in the wild. Um, these are designed out of the box for Android phones only. So if you're an iPhone user, unfortunately, it will not work for you. But not only is it for Android only, it is only for Android phones that use the USB Type-C connector. And I know a lot of phones do not have that. Uh, most phones that have been made in the last 12 months, at least the mid to high-end phones, will have that USB Type-C connection. But uh, it, it's really something where it's kind of limited as far as who can use it. So like I have my Google Pixel XL here. Uh, I'm good, I've got USB Type-C. The Note 5 I'm using to film this with right now, can't use it with it, and you can't use adapters either. Um, so you are a little limited on what you can use this device with. Uh, the box itself, typical Hyperkin packaging, you've got the dog-eared uh, corner up there too on the side. It says, turn your phone into a handheld gaming device. On the other side, adjust smart body to appropriate size and insert smartphone into device as pictured. Um, it has physical buttons, which is something I really like. Um, your D-pad, your A and B, and it does say designed for Samsung. My understanding is Hyperkin did work with Samsung to make this a reality. The smart boy attaches to Android smartphones. Turning your smartphone into a handheld gaming device. It is compatible with Game Boy and Game Boy Color cartridges. Easy to install, just attach the smart boy to your device, pop in your favorite game, and make your friends jealous. You're welcome. Um, so that is an interesting thing here too, is the fact that this will only work with Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. Game Boy Advance games, you're out of luck. So let's get out the box cutter, and we're going to see what's in the box. A couple things too before we get into the box. Here's one of the cool things. Two year limited warranty from Hyperkin. Um, so if you have any issues, make sure that you hit them up on social media, give them a call, shoot them an email. I've always had really good luck uh, dealing with Hyperkin myself. That is a firm box. Just a little bit of foam on that side to help protect it's glued in place. And this is the unit itself. Again, firmly packed in there. Kind of interesting looking. I like the way that they've really mimicked the original Game Boy as far as the color scheme and everything. A little bit of foam or something from the box. Buttons feel good and clicky. And I don't know if you can see down in here. What I was wondering is if it would actually create a D-pad and the A-B button start and select on the screen. And this would basically just be a pass-through membrane that would hit the screen. No, it's actually doing it uh, physically and then sending the signal back through your phone. So the interesting thing here, A-B start select D-pad, right? It also has an L and an R on the back. So even though it doesn't officially support Game Boy Advance games, I've heard that you might be able to use it via emulation. So there's a button on back, and I don't know if you noticed it, but it basically expands out the sides so that you can slide your phone in depending on the width and everything. And here's the business end of the unit. That's where your game carts and everything will slide in. So there's that. Let's take a look at the manual because you're going to need to download some software from the Google Play Store. Ugh. Would have been nice if that was either on top of the unit or this was actually cut to be the size that you didn't have to force, uh, forcefully pull it out. Um, 
Before inserting your smartphone Smart Boy, please make sure your smartphone has a USB Type-C port on the bottom. Device is not compatible with phones that do not have a micro USB port. Um, so there's that. Playing Game Boy games and colors with your Smart Boy. In order to play games, here it is, you will need to install Smart Boy Companion and My Old Boy free from the Google Play Store. Make sure you open each app before proceeding to the steps below. So what it looks like is you need to run both pieces of software to be able to make this work. Um, one of the things I'm curious about is if uh, my phone will fit into the Smart Boy with the case on that I have here. And I've got a pretty slim case, um, but I want to see if it'll fit or if I'll have to take the case off. This is, again, a Google Pixel XL. Oh, that's a tight fit. Nope, I'm going to have to take the case off. So it's not a TPU case, but it's uh, not extremely thick. You can see about, well, the sides are TPU, I guess. Well, I guess it is TPU. It's just really hard. Um, but it does add significant enough thickness to the phone that it would not slide in without too much effort. All right, there I have that in. Now it's gripping the sides. Now on this, okay, this is a good thing to notice. I was worried initially that I was going to hit my volume down button. Uh, but there's a little bit of foam on the side that keeps the phone in place. And it holds the phone pretty securely. And this is the gameplay area that I'm going to have. Um, to eject the phone, do I hit this? Looks like so. Or is that locking into place? That may... Oh, this is... That'll adjust the depth, essentially, of the phone in there. Or something. Let's check the manual to see what that says. Uh, number two, ha! Huh? With its screen facing front, insert your Smart Boy until the USB Type C is inserted completely into the port. If the jack does not immediately insert, use the port alignment adjuster. Okay, so that just is adjusting the depth and everything. Um, so, one interesting thing on here, too, is the way I look at this device is it's essentially a Retron 5. For Game Boy games and by that I mean it's not playing the actual cartridge through here it's dumping the ROM to your phone and then playing the ROM that way um, we'll get into that more into the actual review um, that's basically how it looks on the back and let's see I've got uh, a couple Game Boy games here I've got NFL Blitz for the Game Boy Color goes right in it's not too tight of a fit so that's good there and one of my favorite Game Boy games of all time, we have Super RC Pro-Am. So that'll fit in without any issues. And then just a comparison here, I don't have my original Game Boy anymore. However, I do have my daughter's Game Boy Advance SP. So here you can see, you know, approximate button size, location of everything, screen size. So you do get more real estate on that. It'll be cropped to whatever this aspect ratio is, I'm sure, when we go to play. It's an interesting device to hold, and I'm really looking forward to seeing exactly how it performs compared to original hardware. Uh, I've got to get a shout out to the folks over at Live Action Games in Champaign, Illinois, for hooking us up with... Uh, more than a few Game Boy and Game Boy Color games that we're going to play. We've got uh, Knockout Kings from EA. We've got NFL Blitz, which I showed you. Super RC Pro-Am, one of my favorites. F1 Race, and this was the cool get here. Uh, the Game Boy Color version of R-Type DX in the box. This is super cool, so I'm excited to play all these. Make sure that you stay subscribed to the channel here, Rock Solid Productions on YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with all of our videos that we have coming out. You'll get a little notification, especially if you hit the little bell on the side just next to the subscribe button. If you do have any comments or questions or things that you want us to cover in the full-blown review, please make sure that you leave them down below. You can also email us at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. Hit us up on Twitter or Facebook, too. Uh, we'll have more information in both of those sources. So that is our unboxing for the Hyperkin Smart Boy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.